All right, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I do apologize for not uploading these past like couple of weeks. Damn, it's been like like 15 days sick. I am sorry for not posting, but then I'm not sorry because this entire span of the last two weeks gave me enough time to just recollect thoughts. A lot has happened during these past two weeks that just, wow. But we are back. Um, You know, I'm feeling fine, fresh, and I did get a haircut. <laughs> No one cares. That's the crazy part. No one cares. But in today's video, I'm gonna be checking out, uh, I guess this hairdresser. Someone sent this to me. She puts farm animal products on her client's hair. It's like, it, it gets worse and worse and worse. I don't, I don't know. I'm not gonna go through the same thing. Literally, half of these videos recently have just been like, I get it. If they want a TV show, they get it. It's, this is all entertainment. Even me talk, like, this is entertainment. This is something that you guys should just be well aware of. But let me say one thing. That's like, if my barber were to put some cream cheese on top of my forehead or some cow milk, that shit makes you want to throw up, right? Because I, I want to throw up a lot. Oh, I do want to point out super quick, I did get my last wisdom tooth out. So that kind of did push my uploading too. Or is it just I'm being lazy? I was in pain, I don't know. You can call me a bitch all you want, I don't give a f I just, it's a lot that went on. Just like in here, like all the way back there, that shit. And it stinks, like I brush my teeth all the time, that shit's foul. But off of that, if you guys are new to this channel by any chance, please feel free to subscribe, free to like this video if you end up enjoying it, all that good stuff. Uh, let's just hop into it. I'm gonna try and keep my mouth shut uh, as best as I can, but I will be pausing frequently due to copyright. So I just gotta like, I gotta let you guys know cause some people just still don't get it. They think like, this is a reaction channel in which I just sit here dumbfoundedly for t 15 minutes and just, No. Can you give me like two seconds? Hey, Liz went to school and she got her cosmetology license and she came to me and said, hey dad, I'm out of school now, so can I start working for you doing hair? I agreed and one of the best decisions I made. Before Palin started working here, we used to just sweep it up and throw the hair away. But since she's been here, she's been collecting it. What the actual f Like, what would you possibly need to personally collect hair for? All the times I've ever been in a barbershop since my first haircut at the age of one. My first memory is seeing a guy come and just sweep up the hair, or whoever sweeps up the hair, and toss that shit in the trash can. Why is it in mason jars? First off, <laughs> I love how I pause it at this dude who was just looking at this lady like, Girl, why do you do the things you do? I make my dad save all the hair that he cuts because it actually saves me money. I have long hair, short hair, straight hair, curly hair, kinky hair, it doesn't matter, I collect it because hair has a lot of uses. I mean, if you're not donating the hair, that use is getting tossed out the damn window. I mean, it would be different if she's doing, you know, some sort of science experiment, like, you know, I remember I had uh, those science fairs when I was little, and everyone had, like, those little, like, three bulletin cutouts on top of the tables, like, everyone's doing the volcanoes, and, you know, if she was doing some sort of chemically imbalanced, like, hair follicle, bro, I don't know, I fucking, it's science, you get it. If it ain't that, just throw it away. See what I mean? Like, how irritation comes very, very quickly. That's stupid. Why are you saving the hair? I use it for fertilizer. Have you ever heard of plant food? I'm not gonna spend money on plant food. It's not food for me. Oh. <laughs> I mean, what? They said earlier, that's her dad, right? I mean, I haven't heard him say anything, so if she's on the clock, but she's still getting her job done, I would probably wouldn't complain either. I don't know. But I really want to know where that hair is going. That's, that's kind of weird. I've, I've never heard of that. I don't know. I use the long strands of hair for the couch cushions because if you stuff it inside, it just makes it more comfortable to sit on. Once you put the hair in it. Hey, you saw the boy and his dad, bro. <laughs> they look so lost. I don't know if it's just me, but doesn't this like make your clientele that much worse? <laughs> like this is midday. Everyone's getting their hair cut, minding their own business, and she just stuffing hair inside cushions. Like I wonder what the seats smell like. Uh, Cause some people, you know, they get their hair cut in dandruff and especially black folks. I don't know. Yeah, this, this is not my cup of tea at all. Like I said, I'm still about to throw up. It makes the couch a lot softer. She showed me the couch. I'm like, what What the hell is that? There's not enough money in the world to have me save hair. The customers, they may think Palin's really cheap, and she is, but she saves me and the shop a lot of money. Yeah, you can just throw both of them away. I don't care. <laughs> like, I also notice with a lot of these like TV shows where it's like some sort of like reality television or it's like supposed to portray like real life, they sit up here and make these like first grade reactions to the camera. So like say if they're getting interviewed or like they're talking about something that just happened, they'll sit up there and generically be like, my daughter saves me so much money. Like she's really out here working. 
you know what I mean. How come you can't just say it? It doesn't add that much anticipation to the show. Like it's just it's a waste of time. <laughs> And when it comes to everything, I'm cheap. The car that I have is perfectly fine, and it still runs, so I don't find a need to buy a new car. I got into an accident, so instead of going to the dealership and paying like $200, I got my own grill, and it didn't cost me anything, and I put it on with these hair ties. Oh, okay, yeah, that's kind of tacky. <laughs> Hold up, the f She just closed the door and has a mirror, like, rubber band around the... Like, it just don't be making sense. The car really that busted right a bike. It just, it just be so many options, but I don't know. This is their lifestyle. I'm not, I'm not judging them, but it's funny to poke at because it's just like, I don't know. It is pretty eccentric. Still want to throw up. It gets really hot here in Georgia. So instead of buying a steering wheel cover, I wrapped it in wig tape and it keeps my hands cool. There's nothing you can't fix with hair ties and wig tape. Hairstylist Palin Mathis is hosting a bridal party at her salon in rural Georgia. But before she can host clients, Palin needs products. Like her whip finna crash and burn. What is that? Did you see all the shit in the inside that is just duct taped, like glue sticked, and it's like a first grade art project. Only difference is she is not turning shit in for a grade. The most expensive thing about having bridal parties at the shop is they want expensive lotions, expensive creams. I actually figured out a way I could host these bridal parties without spending very much money at all. Expensive shampoo is a total scam. I can go to the beauty supply store and get Get the shampoo that's on the bottom shelf because it it gets the job done. Okay, your total is three fifteen. I don't know about y'all, but like, and this has nothing to do with just me being black, but in general, the beauty supply, any beauty supply comes in clutch. Like for hair gels and anything that has to do with like cosmetics for the top of your head comes in perfect form. Like, I don't, if I'm spending two dollars on some Carmax, it's about to be the best damn Carmax I done ever swiped across my. Lips. A lot of people don't know this, but a lot of salons that I've gone to actually use products that are really for animals. Did she just pull up to a farm. Are you kidding me? What is this turning into? I'm not trying to play dumb. Like I read the title. It says hairdresser uses farm animal products on her clients. Did I think she was about to pull up to a moo and oink? No, I did not at all. Fucking dirty pigs all across the screen. If she about to scoop up some doo doo and and just moisture, but I, I will sue them. I don't have, I don't know how much money I got, but I like, I'm suing somebody. How's it going? Hi, how are you? Pretty good. How can we help you today? I'm a salon owner, and I'm throwing this big, like, bridal party. Uh -huh. I was thinking if you guys had a couple items you could sell me. For a, a bridal party? We sell feed and hay and... We've had people coming by asking for roosters and hens. Like this is, this entire setting is so uncomfortable. I wouldn't be surprised if she pull off with a baggie of milk. She's just setting up the entire execution at this point. Hens and goats. I want to buy goats all the time, but never beauty supplies. <laughs> Everything we got is for animals. Is it okay if I look in the shed? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. I knew I could find some of the beauty supplies at the farm. I don't know, beauty supplies might be okay at a farm. They made you beautiful. The Main and Tail shampoo, a lot of salons actually use that product. So I knew I hit a gold mine. And I found some kitty litter. Play kitty litter has the exact same. Okay, the Main and Tail, I get shit. I even saw that in my mom's bathroom one time and I was like, what's that? But as soon as that kitty litter got picked up, I lost it. This is where the problem starts. Cause it's one thing to be cheap and like not get expensive things, but at least get the cheaper things. If you're starting to pick up miscellaneous objects that are not, <laughs> Like. Same ingredients that you would find in a $200 clay face mask. What in the world could you use kitty litter for? It'll work perfect for like a face mask. Never heard of such. Oh. Must be a city thing. I don't know what she's gonna do. That like, gonna make mud out of it or something, put it on people's faces. I'm telling you, she's losing all marbles. They farmers and they already they already know what's up. Like, come on, putting kitty litter on somebody's eye socket. Which, that's sick. I don't know. Yeah, what in the world are you going to do with that? You got two big jugs of petroleum jelly for cow's udders to keep them tender for when the calves are sucking on them. I have about 50 ways to use petroleum jelly. You can use it for your lip balm, salt scrub, a foot scrub. You can use it for just about anything. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I really don't know what this is turning into. This is the type of shit that makes somebody channel get demonetized. I don't, why is she moisturizing her husband's hand in the middle of a barn? That start, that looks like a start of a bad porno. <laughs> she knew better. She knew better. I don't know why she's not at the crib as we speak, but okay, mission accomplished. Oh yeah, feed my old farmer's hand. Yeah. And she's gonna use them on people's lips. That's cheap. It'll be five, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, heck, I don't know. How about 10.50?
$10.50. Ooh, that's a little pricey, but okay. If I had gone to the beauty supply store, I probably would have spent well over $100. So it worked out perfect. Again, backwards as f you just, okay, the price was $10.50. Spending well over $100 is nowhere near $10.50. $10 it's just, it's so much. That's a little pricey. What, is that what she said? That, it's not really pricey. If you have the $10, spend it. If you don't, you don't. I'm gonna look like a bitch one of these videos. Like, I, I, I do not be trying to complain. This shit upsets me on a surface level. As soon as the camera turns off, I am not. This does not affect me. But it affects me in the meantime, because it's just like, why? Go home. I need some help. I'll put some jelly in this bowl. Okay. This is gonna be my chocolate fantasy foot scrub. The chocolate fantasy consists of chocolate chips, salt, and petroleum jelly. Then I stick it in the microwave and melt it and I mix it up. Duh. Okay, so again, back to the science experiments. I don't know, I don't know. I'm not gonna have chocolate chips rubbed on my feet. That's how you break the f out. I've never, I've never heard of that. I don't know. If it works, please send me the recipe. If it's Google-able, I don't know. But she threw that shit in the microwave. She about to use it. No doubt. It's gonna be used. So, so you're gonna put chocolate chips on people? Yep. Now what is this for? It's a special clay mask. Go ahead and mix oh that. Oh my god. Mix that in. Really? Hi, K ladies. We have some cakes oh, for you. And I would have told all them ladies to just go right back home. <laughs> she about to send all of them off. Alright, so uh, my camera died. So I had to charge it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Instead of spending $75 to $100 on finger sandwiches, I actually made some waffle and sausage sandwiches, and I had some Twinkies, and I put strawberry jelly on top for the dessert. Wait, so you're telling me there's waffles, and then there's like the Vienna sausages and in the inside? Bro, that's fucking foul. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get your hands looking great. This is a scrub. This is our famous chocolate <laughs> fantasy. It's organic. When I was rubbing it in that chocolate fantasy, after a while, it really smelled good to me. Wow, it feels good. It does. It's our special clay mask. She keeps saying special. Little do they know that's cat. I'd never want that on my face. That all oh, that I bet that would break me out so bad. I've never had a crazy problem with acne. God, thank you so much for that, cause I. Mm -mm. But I feel like rubbing something on that would like highly irritate the skin. I don't know. Would I be wrong? Has anyone tried it? If you have tried it, let me know. Very exfoliating. I'm really glad I came to Palin and Rob's shop. This has been a really great way for me to start off my wedding. I'm always gonna be a saver. I think nothing, nothing's probably ever gonna change. To my surprise, she really pulled it off. We made a great profit. To have more money in my pocket just makes me feel good. Oh, so they act like they genuinely enjoyed it? Well, that's beyond me, okay. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video. Uh, that's weird so she went to an entire barnyard and just scrapped up whatever she needed and chocolate fantasy dip on a chip on side your toes and it is it's too much shit going on i don't know my brain hurt that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you guys did enjoy is my camera out of focus yeah, give me a second here we go that is gonna be it though again i do apologize uh for the lack of uploads it's just a lot that happened within these past two weeks so you know it never hurts to take time out to just you know reorganize myself if that makes sense i don't know you know even though youtube is my job it's very good to have your mental health you know be your number one priority because this shit gets hard i'm not gonna lie but it's the way of life so i don't know I'm, but i'm not really good at talking about so if you guys are new <laughs> we're all good though 100 i don't need anyone worrying about me no pity no nothing I'm, I'm fine once again though if you guys are new to this channel by any chance please make sure to hit that subscribe button we're damn near racking up almost 200 000 subscribers i i don't even want to talk about that that's insanity but until my next video peace i'll catch you guys later